Welcome back, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have a 12x12 layout for you using the beautiful papers from Bo Bunny and this one here will be my background paper and it's called Ambience. I absolutely love all those gorgeous flowers and these papers are all part of the core products for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft for the month of April. So for this paper here which is called Vibrant, I'm going to be using the side B because I love that lovely orangey color and this is the photo of my beautiful daughter and I just love how she seems to be looking out into the future. So that is the doily that I had on my desk and I thought that it went beautifully and it helped to pop the photo from that gorgeous paper there and this is where I decided oh I want this layout to be very feminine so I went into my big big stash and I found this old hole punch it's a Fiskars hole punch and it's got this beautiful little scallop to it and uh, inside the little each scallop there's this dainty little flower and I must admit it did take me a while to get reacquainted with the punch and learn how to use it again but once I got my head around that I absolutely loved the end result so kudos for getting and using some old stash so in the end i chose to do two lots of this border punch so one at the top and one at the bottom and so you will see me bring my trusty little cutter here paper trimmer and i'm just going to trim that down and then i don't actually do it on camera but i do do a whole strip of this border strip all over again and this is what it looks like and I isn't it just so dainty it just added a little bit of a feminine touch it's at this time that I went you know what I don't want that paper to go the whole length of my background paper so I trimmed it down it's not exactly a square but you know what near enough is good enough I was happy with how it looked and it's time to work on my title so in my stash I found this chipboard from Too Crafty and I just thought it was the perfect title for this layout. I mainly chose this title because I loved the look on her face. It just looks like she's dreaming about her future. I mean, you know, she's probably just dreaming about, you know, some bird that's in the tree. But you know what? We're just going to go with follow, always follow your dreams. It was a message I was giving to her. And then I went through my stencils. I was looking for a clock and I'm sorry, I do apologize that I'm off camera here, but uh, the only stencil that I had that had a clock face on it was this one here. And I just did some stenciling around that and I've put the stenciling aside to dry and I'm going to work on my title. So what I decided, because this was chipboard, I wanted to add a protective layer and I knew that I was gonna use a soft pearlescent color on it. So by adding a layer of gesso, it one, protected my, well, protected the chipboard, and two, it was going to allow me to add the pearlescent colour that I will do at a later step. I will put my chipboard aside to dry, and I decided I was going to do a little bit more stenciling. So I believe this stencil is from Scrap Mats, and I just loved how dainty it is. It's got these beautiful little butterflies and some lovely little dainty flowers all around it and I fell in love with it and I wanted to add a bit more daintiness to this layout. I wanted this layout to be very girly, very dainty and I do believe I've achieved that in the end. The stenciling is not very prominent on this layout but it just adds a little bit of texture and by adding that little bit of texture it just breaks up some of that busyness in that background paper. I will put my stencil in the side to dry and I bring my title back in so I can add some color to it. So I decided to work with my perfect pearls because I wanted to add a beautiful shimmer of pearlescent color and I know that the perfect pearls will give me the look that I'm after. So I started by just adding the, I'm using here is the Ranger Dabber. It's an embossing liquid inside it and I absolutely love this product for chipboard. And then I will add a layer of the Perfect Pearls and that gives it this beautiful pearlescent colour. So once I've done my first layer of pearlescent pearls, oh sorry, Perfect Pearls, I will add a touch of the Perfect Bronze. Now I only used what was left in the lid because I didn't want to overwhelm it with the bronze. I only wanted to add a touch of colour. And then I will add another layer. So this will be the third layer of the Perfect Pearls. And I, I will actually use the 
the beautiful perfect pearls color so that's three layers and it just gave me the perfect color that I was after I put my title aside to dry and I bring back my stenciling so bringing back everything together I quite like that and this is where I decided that I wanted to highlight the stenciling and where I did all that stenciling so I got out my old gelatos so I'm using a lot of all my old products here my old punctures the perfect pearls and now a gelato but anyway that was just to add a hint of color so I'm just using a little soft brush and just going over all that stenciling area and I love the little bit of pink that I added and I must admit that I got the inspiration for adding the pink from my little girl's lips there was so much orange in this layout that I just wanted to add that little hint of pink off camera I, I did adhere all the papers down and I decided that I wanted your eye to be drawn more to the center of the photo so I did that by getting my ranges embossing pad and I'm just adding some embossing liquid to the whole matte layout there that orange matte layout and I'm going over it with some of that gorgeous perfect pearls in the color perfect pearls and I love the shimmer that it adds I did go around all four sides of my mat and then I decided to add more color and I'm using the perfect pearls and the color is called pink gumballs and I do go around all four sides of my mat once again but I don't think I show the whole process as you've seen it all before the best part about the collection is the ephemera it is from bow bunny and the ephemera is called noteworthy I absolutely love it this ephemera pack is full of gorgeous flowers and butterflies it's got a bunny rabbit in there there's some easter eggs there's some nests it's absolutely gorgeous and if you want to get your hands on this lovely collection i will leave a link to auntie vera scrap and craft in the description below and i will also leave a link to the facebook page and i would love it if you go and check out auntie vera's scrap and craft the facebook page there's a lot of fun going on there's a lot of shenanigans going on and it's a really great Facebook page to be a part of. So please just go in there and join it. You will love it. And then you can also craft along with us, with the creative teams for the month of April. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this layout is for the creative team. Uh, it's part of the creative teams challenge for the month of April. And all these beautiful papers and the ephemera pack can be found at Antivirus Scrap and Craft. So please go out and check it. They will be on special for the month of April. So go and grab yourself a deal. And of course, no girly layout is complete with a little bit of bling. So what I did was I got out some of my glue, I added some glue and to give it that extra part sparkle, I will be adding some Tim Holtz Distress Glitter and it's called Clear Rock Candy. And I swear this packs a punch. It just added that gorgeous glitter to the whole layout and everything came together perfectly. And to be quite honest, I think this must be one of my most favorite layouts in a while. I absolutely love how this all turned out. This will bring us to the end of the layout and I thank you all for your support. I absolutely love reading your comments, so please keep them coming. And if you're new to this channel and you haven't already subscribed i would love it if you hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload my videos they are there will be some close-ups coming up for you to enjoy and i'm also going to take this opportunity because there are so many of us in at the moment in isolation or lockdown depending what part of the world you're in we are in isolation here in us in australia and I just want to remind everyone to be patient while we all go through this it is new for everyone but i wish you all well and i'm thinking of everyone and i'm praying for everyone that we all get through this and i think that a lot of positives are going to come out of this i really really do believe that this is mother nature telling us to maybe slow down a little bit so let's all look at the positives and enjoy the time that we are going to have to craft and do things that we've been meaning to do for a while and with that, I will leave you and take care, everyone. Till next time. Bye.